Um, let me ask you, do you love her? Yana, no more. Why? Because when we were about to marry, we sat down, Your Honor, and I agreed that we were going to have children. Upon the sleepless night, Your Honor, I've not been able to bring forth to a single child. Okay. Five years now. All right. Your Honor, I think enough is enough. She has been deceiving me. All right. Why I was... really would want this court to compensate me after the divorce. Your Honor, then what my crime say show you that even my crime don't love the woman before my crime marry the woman. Absolutely. <laughs> because if somebody do something and say that no more, no more, no more love. <laughs> love, the, love don't know more. Love don't know more. No. Love always stay there. In place. In, in, okay. Enough of the arguments. I think I want, to, I want the counselors to sit down. Let me handle the couple, please. Do you still love your husband? I do. You still love him? I do. Did you ever tell him that you didn't want to have children? Your Honor, he wasn't going to listen. Did you ever tell him? I want to have kids, but not Did now. you ever? Of hey! hey! <laughs> hold up, hold up. <laughs> your Honor, I didn't. Good. And that is very unfair. For marriage, for a union to work, there has to be communication, there has to be understanding, there has to be agreement. If you fail to do that for your husband, and you stab him in the back, or in the dark like this, then you have been unfair to him. I don't think we can just throw in the towel because she's been this bad to you. I think the love is always there. Sometimes I fight with my wife, and I think I'm too angry. I don't think I love her anymore. But Your sometimes, Honor. after I forgive her and we make up, then I realize that I, I didn't hate her like I thought I did in that moment. Jana, I don't trust her. What shows that if I accept? I, I agree. She's not going to continue and be doing this behind me. I agree. I agree. But can we try one more time? No, if Your you Honor. are willing. Are you willing? Just ask me why I did that. Your no, no, it's not necessary. Whatever your reasons were, you should have told him, you should have discussed this with him. And that is wrong. You have to make your honor angry. <laughs> right now, your day has come. <laughs> your honor, say that this and let this man kill. <laughs> Sit down. All right, listen. I'm going to give you one last chance, the two of you. Not because of you. With this attitude, maybe even me, I'll be running. But, huh? Not at all. Hey, your honor, she likes you too. <laughs> Objection, your honor. Your honor, I don't believe so because you're not her type. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah. You see the way I tell you? Why not? The man know the type. Young man. <laughs> Young man. Yes, my Lord. For the sake of what I believe, I will still not ask you, to, I will still not grant your wish. Listen to me. I'm Mama. going to ask that the two of you go see a counselor for a year. That is her punishment. But because you're a husband, I need you to accompany her. No, no. Would you keep quiet before I... I'm the busy person. Hey! Don't angry him! <laughs> Go and see a counselor. Let him try. If it doesn't work, bring it back. And I'll take care of it. All right? What do you say? Ah, uh, your honor. My client asked me, what do you say? <laughs> say, I say, kill the woman. <laughs> because as my client tell you, my client can't trust him. All right, what do you say? One last chance, what do you say? You want to die? <laughs> what do you say? I'll give birth. I'll surely give birth. With who? 
Do you want me? Are you interested in me? No. I want your honor to kill you. How I want it. I want you to die. Then let me talk to my husband. Because you're not my husband. My, this, my, my husband is my client. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, James. James. My lord. Please. Let's give it a chance, okay? If it doesn't work, I promise that... Yes, your honor has... Will you, will you? Your honor, I want to help you. Punisher. Your honor. All right, take your seat. Thank you, your honor. Then why are you Stay it? standing. <laughs> all right. Please, let's do this, all right? Let's be an example to the people around that no matter how tough it gets, we can still go through it together. Well, uh, Your Honor, before you, you end it, Your Honor, you should also make sure that um, perhaps you put a timeline to it. Because uh, from what she told me, she wants to give birth at the age of 47. <laughs> no, I think now it's changed. Oh. We are going to try, right? As a matter of fact, this is my first sentence. Where is your... When was the last time you took any of the contraceptives? Just yes, yesterday. Good. Um, your Honor, after the suit. Good. Um, She's still taking it, Your Honor. I want the two of you. I have a special reservation at Golden Bean Hotel. I want you to go there in my name, Judge Louis Lamis. They'll give you my suit. Go into my awesome, awesome suite and take good care of yourselves. Sit down. <laughs> Go and have fun. And I pray that by the time you get out, a miracle would have happened. Your Honor, if I may ask, do you not live around? How do you I'm mean? Wondering Your why Honor, the may want to ask you why you have a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But me, I suspect you and this woman. <laughs> This court is adjourned, all right? Thank you, Your Honor.